Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing Demon Slayer Season 3 Episode number 7. Oh boy, in previous episode we learned the story of Shinazugawa family. A really, really depressing and tragic backstory in which we saw a parallel to Tanjiro's story and they both lost so many siblings, their parents, her mom became a demon and attacked her own children. Is there something more tragic than that? That's horrible and uh, imagine the weight on Sanemi's heart and how he felt about all of this bro. And I instantly remembered when I was talking shit about him. I obviously didn't know this shit, man. But not only Sanemi, all of the Hashiras, right? Even my boy Rengoku, who is the kindest, one of the kindest people, man, was saying that he does not approve of Nezuko being alive, right? Back then, they all none of them experienced something like that and especially in Sanemi's case when someone like their mom who despite being very like small right stood up in front of their abusive father and took hits protected her children man when someone like that is capable of becoming a demon and attacking their children there is no person in the world that can become a demon and be good, right? That's Sanemi's thought process and I perfectly understand his reaction. Even though, yeah, they made it seem like with him laughing like that and everything, it was clearly a purpose from the author, right? To make us feel like kinda iffy when it comes to Sanemi, but now, man, when, it, when we learned the story and everything, just so sad. For Genya as well, they were two eldest brothers, right? They made a promise that they will protect their family from now on. It's just so fucking sad. And Genya's voice actor, Jesus, those cries, man. It was a phenomenal performance. <sighs> he wants to become Hasher so he can meet and apologize to his brother for calling him murderer. But he saved his life, literally, right? And it's not easy for Sanemi. I know that. I know that. So yeah, he was saying how he doesn't have talent for breathing, right? And hence why he's using the gun. And we still don't know how he became a demon. And we know why he wants to become Hashira. And he was saying to Tanjiro, he was choking him and saying... Oh, you uh, didn't become Hashira because you didn't take down Upper Moon by yourself. Let me become Hashira. I will take care of this. And <laughs> Tanjiro, while being choked, smiles and says like, Okay, me and Nezuko are fully going to support you. <laughs> oh my god, Tanjiro is something else, man. And Tanjiro continues fighting those demons. He grew so much, man. Tanjiro became a proper swordsman, man. He is certainly uh, on his path to become a Hashira level demon slayer, that's for sure. My boy Tanjiro is incredible, man. Muichiro is still stuck in the, the water prison jutsu by fucking Gyoko. And Hantengu is so fucking small, bro. He's tiny. He's running so fast. He's like the, that cartoon character, like Speedy Gonzalez, man. Like, what the fuck? And the episode ended with Tanjiro about to slash him on the neck. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Without further ado, let's jump into episode number 7. Let's begin. Alright, everything is ready, guys. Let's begin. <laughs> there he is. I dumped, I dumped. The screeching, bro. And the fear. The emotion of fear. Every Demon Slayer opening so far has been amazing. The Swordsmith Village of Demon Slayer is such a nice concept, man, with those goofy masks and everything. I really like it. Ah, this part is so good. 
Here we go, episode 7, Awful Villain. Yeah! <laughs> I can tell. Such a thick fucking neck, man. Oh my god, hatred. So there is another one? Because it's a new one. Oh my god, what is that? Bro, Han Tengu is literally trolling us at this point. Look at the fucking silhouette behind him. It's so menacing. Yeah, he's... He's not gonna shoot. Oh my god! Is that a bone? Bro, what is going on? Okay, man! The fucking wood dragons from the opening are finally here. He's revealing his true powers, I suppose. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks kinda clean. Ooh, was that Nezuko? Damn! Her limbs. Oh hell yeah, man. The upper moon regeneration, baby. She's on pair with them. Thanks to her form. She's always so clutch, man. Don't let Gar down, though. Is this his strongest form? Oh my god, the looks definitely say that. Awful villains. I know, right? This is literally insane. Oh, are they all... Is this the real, real upper for Hantenko? Are they all fused together or some shit? Oh my god. Jesus. Ew, bro. So they literally fused together. <laughs> He was trying to protest. Always had a feeling that the anger one was kinda in charge, right? Okay, so I think that this is like his true form. That now we are about to see his true powers, man. Be careful, boys. Yeah, like Rui. He's hitting those circles just like that demon from Tsuzumi mentioned, right? And there is five, like five emotions, right? Oh my god! He looks kinda clean though. Wait, the pressure... Is that high? Holy fuck, Tanjiro and Genya are shook. This guy is a beast. Yeah, look at the eye. Genya is sweating. Oh, he's asking why is he calling them villains? No. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's pretending to be like a... on the side of justice. Yeah. Mm. Let's go, let's go, Tajiro. <laughs> exactly, man. Kill, yeah. Oh my god, I like when Tajiro goes savage mode like that, man. Did he expect for us to go like, oh, poor you? You came to this village to murder all these people. I'm so sorry for you. Fuck off! Let's go, Tanjiro. I'm liking the new ST as well. 
Yeah. Just like Tanjiro. They're frozen, but Tanjiro got mad, so. What do you mean? He's gonna ask. That it has nothing to do with you. Bro. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, he got angry. Oh, shit. Yo, and there is five of dragons, so he has each of those, like, Suzume looking thingies. Back to Muichivo. <laughs> oh, my God. My man is still struggling to get out but how can he creative juices yeah and i almost forgot that he got stabbed bro Fuck. in the face but it makes sense demon slayers can hold their breath for very very long oh my god he's going inside they said that haganezuka is inside right one more attack. Come on, come on, man. It has to work. He tried the thir first attack and it didn't work. But that's right. He needs a sword, new sword as well. Nah, you can't give up, man. He's seeing the master. No, you're not, man. He sent at least two Hashiras. Damn, it really looks like he gave up there. Was that? Oh my god, it's Tanjiro's voice, bro. Oh my god. Tanjiro had so much influence on him since they met, man. I love this a lot, man. Wow. But he imagines that he would say something like that. Oh, or this is the moment where he will regain some of his memories. Oh fuck, Kalmori, no! Ah, he's too close! Jesus! No, oh no! Oh no, man! Don't kill him! Yeah, Tetrin is not here, actually. But... <laughs> It's Haganezuka. He's trying to get that sword. To take off the rust from that sword. <laughs> Bro, he's still working. <laughs> That's Haganezuka for you. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I love this guy. He's being blown away by the craftsmanship of that sword. Come on, Muichiro. <laughs> he's ignoring Upper Moon Demon. Oh, he's getting pissed. Oh my god. <laughs> Giga Chad Hagalazuka. Oh, he's getting pissed about that. Oh my god. Oh no. He's still going, dude! He's still fucking going! Oh my god! <laughs> no, dude. His mask is destroyed! Holy shit! This is Hakanezuka! <laughs> what the guy? Let's go! <laughs> and he's so pretty as well! <laughs> Bro, holy shit! He's still going, man. Yeah, this guy's gonna lose his shit. Oh, oh my God! Hell yeah! And he doesn't want to kill him, right? He now feels. Like, he needs to get him distracted, right? How can someone have a better focus than me? I like that 
it's so good for us that these demons, especially the upper moons, have such huge but fragile egos, man. Gyutaro was the same, man. He was toying with us. I like that. I like that uh, despite them being so strong, they're still very much imperfect beings. And their egos are through the roof, man. And they're so fragile. Bro, Haganezuka is something else. I never expected that face behind that mask, though. Something is about to happen right now. <laughs> you never told me that. Don't give up. Someone will save you for sure. Yeah, man, sometimes you have to count on others. Hell yeah. Mm, that's a wrong way to look at things, man. Overestimated my own skills. Oh shit! <laughs> it's Kotetsu, bro! Oh my god, this is perfect, man! What goes around comes around, and Tanjiro was saying the reason why he's doing good things, man. This is perfect. Yeah, it seems like it's not working still. Oh, he's still talking like that. Oh my god, it's one of those fucking weird fishes. Look at it. Oh, he got cut. I thought my hero will somehow get out. And he's getting worried, bro. No! Bro, that's deep in the stomach. What the hell? No way, bro. And he's just still trying to get him out, man. What the fuck is going on? What is he doing? Is he sending... Is he sending him the air? Oh my god. Oh my god! Exactly. When you have something to protect, right? You're the strongest in that case. Oh my god, he's about to go out of this fucking water prison finally. Let's go, Michiro! <laughs> <laughs> His father! <laughs> the same eyes, right? Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Oh, that's how we end. What do we have here? Oh, it's Kagenezuka. Man, his face reveal was crazy. I was not expecting that. So I will do my best, right? <laughs> Bro. I never expected this much development from Swordsmith. <laughs> Too scared to use it for cooking. And there they are, he forged them. <laughs> oh my god. The Mo in Muichiro, all right. I like this. Uh, it definitely felt slow. This is the first episode in this season that not much happened, actually. All right, guys, that was episode number seven. It flew by, but also it felt kind of slow, like not much happened in this episode. So Hantengu keeps trolling us. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> we now have the Hatred Demon, who design-wise 
definitely looks like he's the main one, but there is still the small Firhan Tenku there, protected by those three dragons right now. So I assume now if if if, if, if I'm kind of bugging, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. If we cut off both of their heads, we should win the battle, right? I hope that there won't be more of these Hantengus. When it comes to design, a little bit too edgy, right? He looks like a child and he's calling us villains, man. Uh, I think I prefer like Akaza, Doma, even Gyutaros character design. But he looks, don't get me wrong, he still looks pretty dope, but it's not like I'm a huge fan. The thing I like is that he has those things on his back. My guess is that there are emotions written on it, right? And uh, when he uh, touches one of those, the one dragon activates. If he touches all five of them, he's controlling, I guess, all five of dragons. And it's literally reminding me of that demon from Suzumi Mansion when he hits... A Suzumi room spins when he hits another one, uh, the room teleports, right, and when he hits the third one, uh, those slash attacks are starting, so it definitely reminded me of that demon, and not gonna lie, I've liked that concept, so uh, now we are seeing it in a little bit different format, and I'm liking it again, <laughs> it's going to be very tough to deal with that. We already saw Tanjiro uh, having troubles avoiding those attacks. That looked very clean, but yeah, as I said, nothing uh, much happened. Of course, Tanjiro got pissed, as he should, for this guy calling them villains. And I also find it interesting how the what Demon was saying, those people have nothing to do with you. Why are you trying to save them? It kind of also... Uh, draws a parallel to Muichira's character and how he was before this episode. Well, at the beginning of season 3, saying uh, things like, uh, why would you care and prioritizing not saving people in front of him, right? And trying to go for the chief, to save chief and stuff. So we see Muichiro changing slowly and seeing Tanjiro but it was actually his father's words to not give up, right? To fight and that someone will come to help me. And I really enjoyed that little scene with Muichiro, especially when little boy Kotetsu stepped in to help me. And that was so nice. Because he, we started off with him hating Muichiro, making Tanjiro train like uh, he's going through hell only so that he can... Uh, get his get back at Muichiro and now he end, ends up sacrificing his own life to save him and he thought of something really nice through water to send a little bit of air right and it was enough for Muichiro to use his breathing technique and finally get out. Kaganezuka's face reveal was insane I never imagined that face under the mask he's in the rank of uh, Yorichi and uh, Tengen when he had longer hair in that episode, right? He's beautiful, man. <laughs> he's so fucking beautiful. And he's a Giga Chad, man. I like how he was so focused on his work that he wasn't paying attention to Upper Moon Demon. The balls on that guy, man. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely loved it, man. And the fact that, uh, as I said, uh, Gyoko got triggered because he has... A better focus than him and as an artist it hurt his ego and I mentioned how they all have big and fragile egos and that's a fact and that's the reason why Haganezuka is alive he could easily be headed both of them Kanmori and Haganezuka but he wants to make him lose his focus and to uh, distract him from preventing and to distract him from finishing his task that he's so focused on right that was incredible. I hope to see Muichiro go hard on Gyoko and destroying him in the next episode. I will end the video here for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.